So today I'm gonna to show you how to go from stock BVS center caps such as these into ones like this. Or this. Or even these. The first thing to understand is which kind of caps you can do this to and which ones you cannot. So these ones, the carbon fiber, anything that has this lip on here, you cannot. The back of the caps look like this. And the ones that look like this. You see these little dots around the edge? That means that these are cast caps. What you need is the forge caps which are also the ones made in Japan that look like this. You can, in theory, use the cast caps. I use this one here as a tester, but the chances of breaking the backing is a lot higher than if you're using the forged ones. This was already broken. I bought it to use as a tester. These ones were actually custom cast for me, so you can't just modify a stock cap to so like I was saying before the battery cut out, uh, these ones are custom cast. You can't change out the color of the BBS itself with the stock caps. Another thing to point out is that on some of the black and gold caps, even if it has the correct backing, this is the incorrect cast backing. If it has the forge backing from the Japanese caps, back of this is incompatible and will look like that with the divots in it. This one was from a forged cap, you know, a Japanese market cap, but you cannot modify this to change the background color because of those divots. So this will only work for the ones that are red and gold, uh, the silver and gold, and the blue and gold. So since I don't have any factory caps I'm willing to sacrifice, I'm going to go ahead and remodify this that I already did. This is gold on gold using the correct forged Japanese backings. All you need for this is some tape, pry tool, sandpaper, some paint, and some time. So we'll go ahead and get started on taking this apart and showing you the process. There you have the backing separated from the face of it. What we're going to do next is sand down all this paint. I typically like to use 320 for the initial stages. I don't have any right now, so I'm going to use some 220. So as you can see, it's starting to clear up. So now we're getting pretty clear. You want to be careful to check inside the letters. As you can see, I still got some there and around the edges of them. And it's also important to note on the factory painted ones, the edges will be painted the blue or gold or silver. So you want to sand that down and you can either paint it to match what you're going to do, or you can polish it out. Either way, it's up to you. So now we got the bulk of the paint off. I'm gonna switch over to some 600 grit to get rid of some of these sand scratches. You don't have to worry about being perfect. And I must stress, do not wet sand this because if you wet sand on the backside, water will leak into where it's cast and it will ruin your gold plating on the inside. Ask me how I know. So 
there we have it. That's pretty much as clear as it needs to be. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe it down and get it prepped for paint. So next part is masking and how you do this depends on how you plan on painting it. If you're gonna paint the edges or if you're going to polish the edges. On this, it's just a demo. So I'm gonna do it the fast and easy way, but this would be how I'd do it if you were going to just polish out the edges. Basically not worrying about getting a nice precise line around the edge. Any overspray that gets on the edges will be polished off. All you care about is the actual face being protected from any overspray. Clearly this can has seen better days, hence all the spraying and splattering. Hopefully it's still good enough to at least show you how it comes out. So now while we wait for the paint to dry, we'll switch back to the backing. And even though this is modified just like the factory, this just uses adhesive. Nothing fancy, just double-sided adhesive. So you take this off however your heart desires. Luckily it's a little warm today so it peels off pretty easily. So all that's left is just cleaning up these edges, not a big deal, and we're left with one factory BBS backing ready for the new emblem. So with our backing mostly clean, I mean I'm not doing it perfectly because I'm just doing this for a demo, uh, you need to get some 3M double sided tape, you can buy this in a sheet, I roughly cut out the size I need, we'll just go ahead and put this on here. I usually cut it a little bit off shape, just so once it's on here we can trim it you can use a razor, you can cut it with some scissors, whatever your heart desires. It doesn't matter as long as it's not sticking out the edges. So at this point, it's ready for the new emblem. So this is where you would either take your freshly painted emblem or one of these. This is something that I made a while ago. Still have a handful in stock not to self-advertise but it's just an option for those that don't know how to do this there is a threaded hole here for this if you wanted to drill a hole to have a little extra security this one here was using a, a back plate that we actually manufacture ourselves, just so you can see bolted in there so it doesn't come apart or anything that's just an option for those that are looking to go that route. So now that the paint is mostly dried, took off the masking, and we have our freshly painted emblem. For those of you worried about that paint, it was an old paint, I didn't really care if it came out perfect as this is just for demonstration purposes. Um, at this time, if you decide to paint the edges, You'd want to make sure that there's nothing on the surface. Hit it with some light polish. If you're polishing the edges, go ahead and polish that. Whatever you decide to do, it's up to you. It's okay that it's a little bit transparent. You can see some of the paint spatters right there. As soon as it goes on the backing, you won't see it. So the next thing is finalizing this and aligning it so it doesn't look wonky in your center cap. 
So I'm gonna guess if you're watching this, you probably have a set of BBSs of some sort that would be used in these caps that potentially have a removable hex cap. So what I like to do is take your nasty stock cap and then take the backing and press it into place. Therefore it is where its final resting place will be. Then I'll go ahead and peel off the protective layer of the 3M here, if I can catch an edge of it. And then we'll take our center cap and we will hold it as best we can, keeping the distances pretty even all the way around while we gently let it fly in there. And then you can gently readjust if necessary. If everything looks good like this one is, you don't have any weird gaps anywhere, just press on down on it. Pop it out, and there you have it. There's your custom colored BBS center cap using the factory backing. You're good to go. So the whole reason I decided to make this video was I used to make these and I'd spend a lot of time sanding and painting and just dealing with little issues left and right. And it was very expensive, especially if any mistakes were made. And it just wasn't worth it seeing that a set of caps, the correct caps are nearly $180 for the set. So it just took up too much time and effort on my part not to make enough profit on it. So I decided I'd share with you how I went about it. I never had uh, any true issues with the long term as far as how they hold up over time since it's using the same sort of material as I did from the factory. The quality of the paint will obviously determine if it fades in the sun or anything like that. Uh, the billet ones that I make, again, it all depends on how well you adhere to it. It is heavier than the stock plastic, but if properly adhered, it should just hold up fine. And the other thing to mention is I would avoid using any sort of liquid glues on the backing because it may eat through the paint and cause some spots. I had had that happen in the past, so I'm just sharing that with you now. So now you know exactly what to do if you want to get some custom caps that are not available on the market. Thanks for watching, and I'll have more coming up later.